Hey everybody, well we're going to do a small cage tour here real quick. Um, I have no idea about the sliding, I don't know if it's going to look good, and remember everybody I'm legally blind. So there's my 13 by 9 playpen. We have a bonding tent that's different. So right now we're going to walk in. Alright, how's my baby's doing? Okay, this is the Congo cage from Exotic Nutrition. Um, I say I really like it. Uh, it's got all sorts of different stuff. They give you letters, things, but I really like it. The whole front is solid. The whole back is solid. I don't like the fact that they did the sides like a bird cage, but if they could make the front and back solid, why didn't they just make the two sides solid? Now, this is premature, and the reason I'm telling you this is because next month I'm going to buy another Congo cage, and I'm going to bolt them both together so that we have double the room. So, I'm going to open up. Oh, and I'm telling you, these locks, uh, uh, and, and unless these guys can invent a Slim Jim, there ain't no way they're getting out. I love their little latches. I wish the doors were a little bit bigger. In the UK, they make their doors almost the size. Oh, there's my little baby's crab, my baby's. Um, in the UK to make the doors almost the whole size of the cage. So, um, there you can see a little apple hanging by a shelf. Um, the one in the back that you see that's kind of pinkish, I made myself. And for a blind guy, I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, it's, uh, braided and fringed. Here we have a triple decker, uh, uh, you know, pow I don't know what you'd call it, parachute, triple decker parachute. Uh, they love to play in it. Sometimes they sleep in it. Most of the times they sleep. Let's see where's it? right, 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 right there, or down in that little pouch right there. Um, the, the rings you see are from the dollar store. They love to climb on these things. We got sticks. We got a little. Coconut hut there. Um, oh, this I got the other day. Let me see if I can see it. Um, let's see. Okay, there, there we go. Well, it's really hard to see, but it's a coconut hut from Exotic Nutrition. What's my baby's doing? Um, uh, love their toys. Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, that's just the instant. Uh, cage tour we got some triangle flaps there here we got sticks uh, beads uh, eucalyptus branches tied to stuff that they they love eucalyptus because that's where they're from in australia you know the wheel they love all that kind of stuff so i guess that's it for the cage tour right now it's premature next month i will give you another cage tour after i hook the two together this is my other cage right here with a toy on top. Um, it's three feet tall. You know, this is uh, not that I would ever punish them, but I would consider this a punishment cage. Uh, they really need as much space as they can to jump around and play and and all that kind of stuff. So um, this is my separate cage. If they need to be separated for some reason, I'm going to hook the second Congo cage to that, and then we're going to run PVC to that over to here. Um, and you can see my two-foot cat toy. You can see my all my stuff. We got toys. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole list of all the drawers of uh, 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 stuff. Over here, we got the same thing going. We got the chair with the flap that these guys can use as a trampoline. We got a five, uh, almost six foot cat toy stand right there. So, um, this is the end of this uh, video. It may take a few seconds to stop. Again, it's Ghetto. Uh, sorry. Love you guys. Peace out. And remember, all hippies love each other. And hippie stands for remember. Hippie, H-I-P-P-I-E, happy, intelligent person pursuing infinite enlightenment. Think about that, guys.